All right, due to this corn uh, conficker worm that's coming out, supposedly supposed to take effect uh, April 1st, thought I'd make a little video on maintaining the system's performance and security and so forth, basically keeping your system in uh, peak condition. Um, I'm not going to include like optimization tips and stuff, just basic maintenance um, steps you can take forth on your system. Um, let me go ahead and start and show what I do and from this you can basically take what you want and apply it to your own system if you'd like. Um, let's start here is my desktop. Um, as you can see I don't have many icons. Um, I have a, just my main primary uh, browser icon on top left. Um, a commonly used directory I go to so I don't just search it every time. Just go here and it opens it up. And I also have my recycle bin which I frequently check to make sure it's emptied. And see here it's grayed out so I know it's emptied. And I also have um, um, some folders that categorize all my icons that I normally would have on my desktop. And what this does is it frees up a lot of uh, room on my desktop so it doesn't have to load all the shortcuts, which saves time and resources. So, um, for instance, um, communication. This would have all my uh, IM clients, Trillium Pro, which would be uh, Yahoo and AIM and all those uh, integrated into one. <coughs> so we have this. And. Um, then I have Yahoo for when I want to use my webcam uh, specifically for Yahoo. It's better quality when I use the actual IM client, Xfire, uh, Ventrilo, and shit. Basically everything used that has that uh, deals with communication. Gaming, I'd have like all my games, my Steam, which would uh, also hold all my games I've added into there. <clears throat> so with that done, I got my multimedia folder. I have it also subcategorized into editing for programs that deal specifically with editing. Um, and then we have everything else that deals with the multimedia in general. Same goes for maintenance, which we'll take a look at in a second. Miscellaneous for just random shit that I don't know what it goes to. And um, also my Adobe Master Collection I have in a separate folder on my desktop for easy access. And same with Microsoft Office. Um, <clears throat> so keeping your desktops organized on your, um, or keeping your icons organized on your desktop actually is very useful. It saves up resources, makes it start up a lot faster, and it's just more organized. Um, with that said, we have um, the maintenance folder, which is basically all the tools I use to keep my system in peak condition. I'm going to go over a few of these with you right now, and you can choose which ones you want to take to yourself. Um, right here, let's just work down the list. Cleaning and performance. Uh, these tools that are basically clean up your system, shit you don't need anymore. Uh, CC Cleaner I use a lot. Just uh, basically just run this cleaner and it'll uh, scan all your temporary files and crap you don't need and delete it. And that saves a lot of room on your system as well, speeds it up. It also has a uh, registry scan. I normally don't use this that much, but sometimes I like running multiple registry scans just to ensure I get everything taken out of the way. So um, you can also scan your registry with this, which is useful. And you can also check up your startup entries. I have four right now, my spy sweeper, my webroot spy sweeper, my spy spot, my spy bot T timer, and then my Logitech G15 um, applications, which I need for it to run. You can also run install uninstalls through here. So this is a very useful program and it's free. I'll go ahead and provide a link in the description for this. And I run that probably like once a week. Um, Easy Cleaner, um, not as useful. It has a lot of little, I guess, helpful things in it, but it's just not, a lot of programs seem to do it better, so I rarely use this, but you can clean your temporary files, check your startup entries, scan your registry, and so forth through this as well. And uh, scanning your registry helps it, uh, basically it fixes all those errors and makes it run a lot smoother. You can also um, defrag your registry and compress it as well, which we'll go over shortly. Uh, registry Mechanic, for instance, specializes in registry cleaning. This is what I primarily use to clean my registry, because it works really well and specifically designed for the registry alone. So I can uh, scan my registry with this, which I normally do, and as you can see last time I scanned was on the 29th, which was two days ago, and I found 63 problems alone. And our last compact I did was on the 15th, so once I scan my registry, reboot, make sure all those changes take place, sometimes I run multiple scans afterwards to ensure it's completely taken care of. I'll run a compact registry, which will compact and optimize the registry. It takes about 10 minutes for that to run through, but um, it usually runs a lot smoother after that. And then you can also do some optimization through here, which I never use, and that is the registry mechanic. Um, then we have the optimization folder. Um, I got programs in here like XP Smoker Pro, which I need to reinstall. It's not working properly right now. But um, this is basically like an OzLogix boot speed. It has a bunch of options for tweaking and just uh, optimization. Like here, you can uh, do some cleanup stuff. Uh, Disk cleaner, I, no I don't really use. Registry cleaner, I use for OzLogix sometimes. Um, 
the most things I use in this will be the optimization. Uh, disk defrag, I run through OzLogic. It's a lot better than the Windows. It's a lot faster. Same with the registry defrag. Um, memory optimizer, I rarely use. Sometimes I will use it. It doesn't seem to help much, though. Um, and internet optimizer, I do not use through OzLogic. I use something else for that. <clears throat> and uh, privacy security, don't really use any of these. But um, these you can do for just personal security issues if you need that. And uh, OzLogic's Tweak Manager is a really good program. Uh, you can customize your uh, computer a lot and make it run a lot faster using this. Um, just have a bunch of little tweaks you can do. And you can see all this. So uh, this is an extremely useful program. I recommend it for anyone that's looking for something really simple that, that's also very effective. It costs money, but I'm just going to say I never paid for any of these programs I have right now other than uh, WebRoot Spy Sweeper. Um, so yeah, but it's definitely worth the money if you have the money to buy it. <coughs> and uh, power strip that's used for uh, overclocking video card, altering video settings, and so forth. Uh, TCP optimizer, of course, which is already set to my down speed. This optimizes your internet. And uh, tune-up utilities is also like OzLogic's boot speed. It's a good program, also free for me, but I believe it costs like 30 bucks. <coughs> I'm not sure, but it's a good program. It's definitely worth it. I'd prefer OzLogic's over that though. But you can uh, do a lot of little stuff in here. It's very user friendly as well. And then you have your tweak, which is mostly for uh, configuring Windows, like really detailed stuff. You can really optimize your de uh, Windows with this. So with that said, that's your optimization icons or shortcuts. Security. Um, what I have currently installed is Adware. I have a 2008 Pro. It's going to take a while to start up because it's a uh, service I just disabled. <coughs> I also use Spybot Search and Destroy, which is a free application. Adware as well is free. You can uh, get the professional one which has a real-time protector which I don't even use ironically but um, it's uh, both are really good. They, they're not they're not really um, antivirus clients. They're mostly deal with uh, just random uh, spyware and shit. So um, I always keep this up to date and run this periodically maybe once every two weeks, once every week. Same with Spybot Search and Destroy which is free. And uh, Webber Antivirus is my primary antivirus program. Uh, I run this quite frequently, maybe twice a week, and it also has an active uh, real-time scanner. And I also keep the Spybot Search and Destroy T Timer running, which is an active scanner as well. It basically notifies me of this any attempts to at alter my registry. And with Spybot Search and Destroy, you also get a uh, a uh, what you can immune uh, immune immune I can't even fucking say that word immunize immunize whatever. But basically, there's a bunch of blacklisted shit, and it protects you against that, so you don't have to worry about that. So uh, those are basically the programs I use. Um, speed fan also to monitor your um, temperatures of all your shit in your computer. Uh, I recently noticed my computer been freezing up a lot, and I determined that was my video cards overheating. It's uh, running really hot, as well as most of the other components of my computer. But that's because I just got a new case. And I don't have the airflow quite configured properly. Um, so that's nothing I can really work on right now. So with that aside, <clears throat> you got your desktops also running those programs. Um, it's really good though also to check for stragglers uh, like all programs it's pointless to have you know something listed in here that you're gonna have on your desktop so I generally if I have something on my desktop for a shortcut already I just delete it out of here only things I really have running are things that require like uh, they have additional uh, features like convert like DivX I have the DivX player DivX converter and all that other stuff so I, I just have a subfolder and I rarely use it so I just keep it in there same with all these other ones, Quake Live Beta Test, uh, Sandbox, all that stuff, uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. <clears throat> so um, keep that under control so you don't have a whole shitload of stuff to list. 